Exodus is the best free software wallet for beginners. It's packed with lots of great features like staking rewards that can get you up to 15% interest on your investments. You can buy crypto directly from the platform and of course you can exchange your cryptocurrencies as well. It's got a very beginner friendly interface and during the video I'll show you everything there is to know from downloading the platform, setting up your wallet and actually making an investment using Exodus. So first thing to get your hands on Exodus, you're going to have to download it from an internet browser. So you can do this either on your computer and it's compatible on your phone as well, both for Android and iOS. So once it's downloaded, you'll have to set up an actual wallet and then this will prompt you to create a password and also a seed phrase as well. And the seed phrase is a string of 12 random words all generated in a specific order. So the seed phrase is really important because if you lose access to your wallet, it, or you might have it downloaded on your phone, you lose your phone or it breaks. If you get a brand new phone and download Exodus onto it, then you can use your seed frames to gain access to that money you had on your old phone. So you always need to have the seed phrase handy and don't have a digital copy of the seed phrase. You only want to have it written down on paper. If you store it digitally or have an attachment to the internet, then it is always very possible that someone might be able to steal your crypto and gain access to your wallet. So it just gives you a bit more control and security in case you lose your phone or the device you have Exodus downloaded on or if you forget your password. You'll also have to manually set up a wallet as well. You can't just download Exodus and start using it. So let's jump into some of the features offered by Exodus once you have it all set up. So firstly, you can stake your crypto and this will let you earn interest on your investments. If you go to the earn tab, then you can go through the different cryptos that Exodus lets you stake. And there's even a calculator where you can figure out the returns you're going to make based on the amount that you have invested and that you have staked. So for me, I used to have my Solana staked at 7%. I've got my ADA staked at 4% at the moment and my Cosmos at about 15%. So you can get a really big return from your staking rewards. But keep in mind when your crypto is staked, it's typically locked up for a certain period of time. So with my Atom that's staked, its lockup period is 21 days and this varies depending on the crypto. With ADA it's about three days and with Solana it's only a seven day lockup period. So when it's locked up you can't buy or sell the investment so just keep that in mind. You can also exchange your crypto directly on the platform. If you had a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin you can convert that into Ethereum. There is a fee for this and it depends on what crypto you're currently exchanging and there's often a minimum amount that you have to exchange. For example if I wanted to exchange my Atom into Ethereum, there's a minimum amount that I need to exchange for this and that's 22 Atom that has to be involved in the exchange process. You can't just exchange one or two Atom. So keep that in mind when you're looking at converting one crypto into another. You can also keep track of your portfolio and all your investments. You can add different cryptos to your watch list so you can keep tabs on how their price movements are going. There's also compatibility of Exodus with other hardware wallets like the Trezor Model T and that's the one that I personally use. It creates a nice easy to use interface and I personally find it's a bit easier using Exodus to interact with my Trezor Model T instead of Trezor Suite which is the native program that you normally have to use to interact with the wallet. And of course you can also buy crypto directly from Exodus and it's got a few different payment options. You can either do a bank transfer or credit card but the fees for buying directly from Exodus this are pretty high. If you're wanting to buy $1,000 of Bitcoin, it's going to set you back about $70 in fees. In comparison, if you were to say use your debit card to buy crypto through Coinbase, then it's going to be about $30 in fees. So it is much cheaper buying directly from an exchange and then sending it to your Exodus wallet as opposed to buying your crypto directly from the Exodus platform itself. And now it's also possible to buy and sell your crypto through the Exodus platform on your mobile phone. Previously, you could only view your wallet and exchange crypto on your phone, but you couldn't do 
do with other features like buying and selling directly from an exchange. So it really opens up how functional the wallet is for people who aren't using it on a computer. So now we'll be jumping into how to actually buy some crypto from an exchange and send it over to your Exodus wallet. So firstly, the exchange I'm gonna be using is Easy Crypto. It's very straightforward and the process for this exchange is virtually the same for every other exchange. So whether it's Coinbase, Binance, or Easy Crypto, the process is virtually the same. So firstly, you're gonna to have to buy some crypto from the exchange. So at the top, you pop in the amount that you wanna invest and then select the type of crypto you want to buy. So we'll be investing 50 New Zealand dollars into Bitcoin. So then you click on buy now and then it's going to ask you for a delivery address and this is where exodus comes in so go over to your exodus wallet and then search for the crypto that you are wanting to purchase so we're buying bitcoin so we search for that in the top left corner click on it here here it comes up and then because we are buying the crypto or we get a have it send from the exchange over to the wallet we're going to click on receive on the right hand side and this will give us our crypto deposit address this is like your bank account number for the cryptocurrency space so you click on copy go over to your exchange copy and paste it and make sure the first and last two to three digits and numbers are the same so for me the first three are B, C, 1, and the last three are A, R, N. So make sure that's the same on your wallet, because if you do this incorrectly, then the crypto will be sent virtually to the ether, and there's no way of getting it back. So if you're investing $10 or $100,000, if you don't do the process right and don't have the correct address, that money will be gone. So then from here, go to next step, and then it's gonna ask you for your preferred payment option. Now, different exchanges have different payment options. Some of them might let you link directly to a bank account, others are debit card payment some that you do bank transfer there's a whole variety but at the end of it you will just pay for your crypto and the way you choose to do that varies based on yourself so normally if you can link it to a bank account it's the cheapest and the quickest if you do a bank transfer it can be more expensive and a debit or credit card always has transaction fees as well. So select your payment option. I normally go with account to account that's paying directly through your bank account, which again, regardless of the exchange is normally the cheapest and the easiest. So then you click the option that you wanna do, go through the payment process and then that crypto will be sent from your exchange over to your Exodus wallet. And that's all the steps you have to follow to get your crypto stored on the wallet in a more safe and a secure way. So when it comes to buying crypto, there's more to it than just knowing how to use one wallet. It's important to understand the different exchanges that you can use. There's a whole variety of different pros and cons between the platforms, whether it's cheaper fees, better staking rewards, or just an easier platform to navigate. If you wanna see one of the best crypto exchanges out there then make sure to check out this video on screen that'll give you a complete guide on how to use the crypto exchange called easy crypto